Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh brothers and sisters I hope you're well inshallah so in this episode of LDM lessons we're going to be continuing from where we left off last week and last week we looked into the problem of an infinite regress and what we showed was that our universe could not have an infinite chain of causes and if it did we wouldn't be here today our universe would not come into existence and we concluded by showing for example philosophers such as Abraham Varghese he states you know take your pick God or the universe something always existed and this is what we're going to be looking at today. Which is it? God or the universe, which always existed? So before, the first thing I want to do is I want to show you a simple example. Let's do a little thought experiment to show that the infinite is nowhere to be found in the real world. It just doesn't exist. So example number one, what I want you to do is imagine a room. Okay. Now in this room, we have an infinite number of blue balls, right? Now, what I want you to do is I want you to minus five balls from these infinite number of balls. And I want you to think of the answer. What are you left with? What are you going to be left with when you minus five balls from an infinite number of balls? The answer you probably worked out already is that, well, you can only say two things. Infinite minus five. Or, it's infinite. It doesn't make sense. It's an absurdity. It's a paradox. And this clearly illustrates that the infinite is nowhere to be found in the real world. It doesn't make sense. Let's look at example number two. Now imagine another room. Now in this room, you have five blue balls. Just five. Now what I want you to do is at every given moment, say every minute, add five more balls to this room. And imagine you did this forever. Could you ever reach a number of balls which you can call infinite? The answer is no. Why? Because you can always add another five balls. So well, this is what you would call a potential infinite, meaning that you're potentially working towards an infinite, but you never actually reach an actual infinite. So this, is, this, is, this works, but it's not an actual infinite. This is a potential infinite because you never actually reach the infinite. And this again highlights and illustrates the point that the, the actual infinite doesn't exist anywhere in the real world. And example, for example, uh, David Hilbert, he states that the infinite is nowhere to be found in the real world. The idea, if you like, or the concept of an infinite is just an idea. There's nothing more to it. It's not real. So brothers and sisters, I hope this helps. This clarifies this particular point. And this clearly shows, well, the universe is not infinite or eternal. Therefore, the cause of the universe must be eternal. And this is exactly what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran. For example, in the 112th chapter, he tells us that he is the absolute, the eternal. Jazakallah so, khair for watching brothers and sisters. I hope you have benefited from this inshallah. Stay tuned for upcoming episodes. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.